Have you noticed how so many young people are dying of heart attacks? I know I've spoken about this in the past and repeatedly, but there's a need to talk more about this and try and understand why heart attacks are suddenly claiming young lives. The Cardiometabolic Institute reports that more and more men under the age of 40 are having heart attacks. More people in the world are dying from heart disease than ever before. And India's young adults are no exception. But do you know this is not a one-off case? In the past 10-15 years, the rate of young heart attack has increased two times. Do you All right, so I wanted to cover this topic. I wanted to talk about this issue. I wanted to put my brains out and share my thoughts on this particular thing for a while now. Yes, sadly, it had to be at this point in time when we lost one of our most beloved comedian in the country, Mr. Raju Srivastava. So what I want to talk about is this one problem that I am seeing now becoming a thing in my country. And this bothers me because this is affecting the men in the worst way possible. Yes, gentlemen, I am talking about the rise, the stupendous rise, even the pandemic of heart attacks in young men of my country. So I'm clearly not a doctor, but what I am is a men's lifestyle guy. And my job includes two very basic things. One, live a good life. And two, document it, share it, preach about it and probably help a few men in this process in becoming and living their best possible life. And if there is anything in society, if there is anything in the country, if there is anything in the globe that could fit into this idea of living a worthy life, a man living a worthy life, and when a man is not able to do it, it does concern me in one way or the other. It does come directly to my job application. So here we go. My name is Bangal Sharia. This is Life Essentials. Let's talk about this rising pandemic, shall we? Okay. You see, there are numerous, rather there are countless studies in the West depicting this as a pandemic which is about to be arising any time, any point in matter. Why? Because this has become a lot more lifestyle oriented than what it used to be. I mean, cardiac arrests or heart attacks weren't all this common in my country, let alone the West. But then who are we getting right now? This is a Western problem. Studies, reports and scientists have proven the fact that men out there are getting heart attacks at a stupendously early age. I mean, you couldn't even fathom the fact that a 28 year old, a 22 year old, a 25 year old is getting heart attacks out of no freaking wear. Obviously, this is not coming out of nowhere. This is coming out of their lifestyle and the society as is that is the best. So if you do try to preach that lifestyle in my country, in my motherland, you won't be surprised seeing a lot of 22 year olds in the future getting heart attacks or cardiac arrests left, right and center. Before we put together the story, we spoke to some doctors to look for answers and this is what they told us. They said there are six things that make a person vulnerable to heart attacks, diabetes, blood pressure, blood cholesterol, smoking, family history and lifestyle. But here's the thing, neither high sugar levels nor high blood cholesterol levels is a new phenomenon. People in their 30s and 40s have been diagnosed with these problems for a while now. Yes, sure. In the West, if you do get a heart attack at an early age, chances of your survival are fairly high because their medical procedures are a lot more effective and efficient. Sure, that can be said, that can be done. But getting the heart attack at the very first place, if it is not genetical, if it is not something that you have had in your family, and if it is not something directly related or corresponding to your lifestyle, then I could give you a fair pass. But if it is a lifestyle problem, if it has been a lifestyle problem on this while and you're just making it worse by not addressing the core issue of it, then I see a problem, then I see the need to address it. I mean, you're performing three or four open heart surgeries in a 30 year old man is not normal. A 55 year old comedic legend. There has been many such instances if you look in the past and just see the Indian history. The kind of men, the important men who have got cardiac arrest and who have died at a very young and early age. But the point, the problem being what's happening in the West to 25, 28 year olds is not happening to my countrymen who are in their 40 and 55 year olds. 
this is not a normal societal behavior this is not what i would want men to suffer from which they are at the most now if you're someone young watching this you would be wondering man what's the point i am absolutely fine i even go to the gym and work out and do all of it so i don't need to worry much about it why are you trying to go all preachy on me because research studies scientists and doctors are now pointing out and now trying to figure out a few of the most common reasons of these heart attacks one is the lifestyle and two is chronic depression But one episode of stress can sometimes push the heart over the edge. Heart disease is often associated with risk factors like obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. But what about depression? Our health specialist, Dr. Ali Zetner, joins us now to talk about how mental health impacts the risk for heart disease and heart attacks. There's a new study out. Tell us about it. So the American Heart Association just last week released a position paper in circulation about the association between depression and heart disease and advocated perhaps reassessing and and pointing that depression may indeed be a true risk factor for heart disease. Why? 20% of people who pre present with either a heart attack or what we call an acute coronary syndrome actually have depression as, a as opposed to 4% of the regular population. He finds depression is the strongest predictor of death following a diagnosis of heart disease and can actually lead to heart disease. And nobody, nobody talks about the mental health or the sanity or the empowerment of a man's life as much as they should anymore. The amount of stress a man has, the amount of stress they unnoticedly and unwillingly take on a daily basis the amount of anxieties they suffer from because of either being single or the life because maybe they are not able to find a girl to marry maybe because they are not making enough money maybe they are not able to provide for something here and there or whatever reasons it could be their worldview our worldview has always been about providing in some way or the other but in this process of evolution and upgradation i don't know where did we lose track i don't know where did we lose ourselves where did we lose our purpose and where did we lose our reason to live and live a good life at the very first place now yes of course this word depression might come out as very strong to some of you watching this but let me clear it out in case you didn't get it at the very first place the chronic anxieties depression or mental instabilities in a man's mind or in anyone's mind can and does lead to actual physical damage of the body itself so you might be a guy who is going to the gym and working out you might be a guy who is eating healthy and doing absolutely fine in terms of his physical health his physical divine but if your head is not in place if your emotions aren't in check if your mental health as a man is not balanced is not straight if you are not really happy if you're not really fulfilled if there is something that is actually lingering for a lot longer than usual something in terms of stress anxiety or instability you need to sit down and you need to introspect this is the time you do that for yourself because this damage just like any other bodily damage that you may have when and if not caught at an early stage can actually take human lives it does and that's not what i would want ever in your life i mean a poor choice of lifestyle eating out and not working out and doing all these nuisance was already a tragic problem to solve but now on top of that we are this we had this level of stress anxiety and instability in our mind well our lives are going to be ruined in no given point in time when as we men are going to take ownership of the life that we are ought to live yes sure you may say that but my death is not certain it can come at any time why should we even try to strive and live a full life well i have made a couple of videos on death yes on death on this channel in case you haven't i recommend you watch it you'll probably get to learn about my perspective if not anything else so i'm very self aware on the concept of death and i'm very self accepting of the concept of death but this does not mean that you wouldn't live the life that you're supposed to live at the very first place which you have been sent in this beautiful fucking world for because at the end of the day while heart attacks have increased among young people this is a problem that can be avoided but what are you going to do about it what are you going to do about this privilege of life that you have as the mighty human being as the man that you are ought to be you can build things you can create stuff you can save lives you can impact lives you can improve the life as is on this planet not only for other fellow men women or humans but for even plants animals or the whole habitat as is but you can't do none of it if you're living a life by choice which is going to take your life at a very early age why would you ever want to be so reckless about your own personal time on this mighty earth i mean if nothing else 
Take this like a food of thought. Take this like a thought experiment. Take a couple of days off or use the weekend. Sit by yourself. Switch off from your social media world or whatever that you have been hooked on all your life and introspect. Put on your meditation shoes. Be by yourself and introspect. Gentlemen, if you haven't, if you haven't ever given yourself the time to think things through and think about what and how you are living your life, which will eventually define your tomorrow, then forget this whole lifestyle nonsense, forget this TMB basics, caps grooming or whatever that there is. You won't be able to live a full life, a full happy life. Let's just sort out that first. Let's just sort out the life first. This lifestyle can only happen once you are healthy, happy and alive. Your life can only be transformative. You can only be transformative to society and make your community, make the fellow men, the women, the kids, everyone a very happy, prosperous place. If your life is on point, if your lifestyle is following up to it. That's my two cents on this rising pandemic, which is giving me some serious headaches. I burnt my hands. I burnt my fingers. I do not want you to do it the hard way. Be smart about it. You're watching the English channel. You're watching this channel for a good reason. You are from an affluent family. You don't have to worry about maybe taking a couple of days for yourself or even a couple of weeks for that matter for yourself. Your family can sustain you or you can even sustain yourself. But gentlemen, this introspection, if you and I can't do it every now and then, if you and I think we are so busy and so lost and so engaged in an activity that we don't even have a couple of days off for ourselves when we are not stimulated or when we are not driven externally through anything, when we are just by ourselves and thinking and gauging our life, then we are really missing out on life at the very first place. Hope this helps. Hope this gives you a thought. In case you haven't, Team me basics at teamebasics.com, fantastic shirts, Henley's polos. In case you haven't, our Bosnian shoes and our sexy calves grooming, the heads up coming out very, very soon. And yes, thank you Raju Srivastava for being the pioneer in comedy that you are, for being the Indian comedic genius that you were. Om Shanti to you and your family. Anyway. Fresh up, stay strong, stay stylish. My name is Bangladesh Thanks a lot for watching. Jai Hind. Take care. Bye.